My name is Kate Harrison and I'm a 2D animator at RET. My concentration is 2D animation, which is essentially hand-drawn or um, drawing for animation, hand-drawn animation, which is, yes, it is different than 3D, which we don't, ha we don't handle uh, 3D sculptured puppets. We draw all our characters, we animate using our hands, and it's basically like how they used to do in the old, the old days. It can, it can range from digital, which is drawing on tablet, or even hand drawn again on paper. I concentrate mostly on storyboarding, which essentially for film is um, creating the blueprint for the movie, which means I create the story, I lay it out in full detail, um, not timed yet, because we're not animating to it yet, but basically I create the story from beginning to end and how the, sh the whole entire structure is going to be laid out. For storyboarding, I was interested, I just really liked um, drawing. Um, drawing's just been something that I've really loved to do. And so um, I, really also love storytelling and I realized that um, every that you can combine those things and to make them together to, <laughs> as like a career but also um, that art can like translate into storytelling and I really liked movies and film and television just in general and I wanted to know I didn't know that there was <laughs> a career in that so I really like the idea of utilizing something that I didn't think could be used to create stories. I got into animation by watching um, Nickelodeon. I watched like a I think it was it was I was watching a show and um, a tutorial for like how to animate came on the screen and I was like oh my god I can actually do the same thing what? And basically they taught you the bouncing ball um, exercise. And I was like, the fact that I could do that at my own home, which is my own materials, was the coolest thing ever. So what I ended up doing was taking all the sticky notes that I possibly could find and just draw a bouncing ball. And like the perfect thing about sticky notes is you can like flip to see like your work and it, you know, it animated. So that was, that was initially what got me into anime. The idea that I could create my stories, it, my own stories uh, was the initial jumping point into wanting to get into the animation um, industry. You can hop on a film, like whenever, like there's like a, a film semester, you can like get onto anyone's film, like, especially if they advertise for help. Um, most of the work that's needed um, in these films are just like touch-up work, which essentially is inking for animation or coloring, uh, coloring in the in the lines, basically. Advice I would give to someone who's starting out animating is to not her, uh, beat yourself up about it, because when I first learned how to animate, it sucked really bad. Um, I did not know anything. Like the twelve principles were not in my like foundation of knowledge yet, so everything was just all over the place and it <laughs> like it, it was really bad um so do not get uh, discouraged at all and i i thought initially because i was so bad at it in the beginning that that was it i could not be an animator anymore and that i just that whole career path was just out of it. i ended up figuring out that i really like animating and it all it's all with practice like with any art like it's it, you have to just like work at it and like Make, like, make sure that you're on top of what you're doing, basically. And so if you want to get better at animating, just like practice. Like I would even say the bouncing ball exercise is something that you could, you're, you never master, you like, you never master any like, any sort of exercise, basically. Like they teach you the exercises at school, practice them every day. Like, <laughs> like do it until like you dream bouncing balls.